This is from Dennis Neal, who is one of our colleagues uh, in the media business. Uh, do you think that the president you pl played was weak for leaning so much on Tusk and Francis, or strong for listening without feeling offense? Great question. Great question. And I get asked a lot about how does it feel to play what is perceived to be a weak president? Um, and I have a couple of responses to that. First, if you look at uh, Othello and you see the greatness of this man, he is one of our greatest generals at the time. He has decimated uh, fleets and armies all over the world. There's right. nothing greater than Othello. <laughs> and in comes Iago and manages to turn him into a whining little baby. Because it's not because Othello is weak, it's because Iago is a consummate villain. Hmm. And we are just relishing what this man brings to, and why? Why is he so wanting to bring Othello down? What is it about his hunger? What is it about Frank Underwood and his hunger right. to bring Walker down? Whether it's Walker, whether it's Catherine Durant, who's actually played by my wife, yeah. uh, or anybody, you are not safe. You, you know, you will be manipulated. You will be taken down. So that's Michael Gill's perspective. From President Walker's perspective, he is not being manipulated. He's just making choices according to the advice that he gets. And he's got a lot of advice from a lot of people. Raymond Tusk is his, one of his most trusted people in his right. world. Frank becomes one so he thinks, and, uh, and others that we don't see. But that's because this isn't, you know, President Walker's story. Mm -hmm. This is Frank Underwood's story. And so we have to give it license. We have to sort of impose a Shakespearean tale onto it and say, we watch this for three hours without a problem and watch Iago take him down because we want to. Right. And if we balance that out and the metaphor of it, we, we yes, we, we are frustrated that he's being taken, but it's because Frank is so good. Oh, so, so why go only three se seasons and then end it? Well, we don't know how many seasons it's going to okay, go. Okay, so you're not This sure. could go on and on. Okay. But what we do know is that this is a tragedy because it has been inspired by Richard III. Um, the, the man who wrote it, Michael Dobbs, was inspired by Richard mm. III. So because it is, and it's a tragedy imposed on our current political systems, we know that there's in a tragedy a rise and fall. Have you met the president, Obama? No. Have you met any president? I haven't. I haven't. Uh, so did you need to train to be presidential? Heavily. How? Um, I've been training to be president. I mean, I haven't been training. I've been watching their behavior since I was a little kid for some bizarre reason. I've just been fascinated by the greatness. But you didn't go into a room and sit there and watch tape after tape after tape. I didn't watch tape after tape to learn how to be president. I. I went in and looked at tape after tape to observe where their humanity comes out, where they're not being president, where people are playing them president. You walk into a room with President Obama or President Bush or when Clinton. When isn't he being president? He, we don't know because we never see it. That's, hmm. It's behind closed doors. It's we when the cameras are smoke. not there. <laughs> we know all kinds of things are going on. The, the volatility of temperament, we don't see those ups and downs. We never saw Johnson taking out his private parts in front of another congressman <laughs> and going, look at this. We've never seen him hang on right. top. I mean, we've seen pictures of him right on top and bullying people. We know that all presidents are bullies because at the end of the day, they all have to look at anybody in the room and say, buddy, I got the votes. I'm here because I got 60 million or 50 million or 70 million votes. You didn't. Huh. So yeah. let's not forget who's boss, and that's bully. But then they just go off the handle. They shoot off the handle very often. And we don't see any of that. So that's the kind of thing that really fascinated me. I want to give credit to, for that question to Spencer Schubert. Great, Great question. question.